This is one of the most versatile EV chargers on the market today, and yet nobody seems to be talking about it. It's called the Trident or Tridan, not sure how to pronounce it, from V2C, a Spanish company. And today I'm going to show you everything it can do, all the good things and maybe all the not so good things about it. Let's get started. Now, full disclosure, this charger was sent to me by V2C for free. However, they did not tell me what to say about it, what not to say about it. I'm completely, uh, these are my opinions. So whatever I'm saying about this is not directed by V2C in any way. In fact, they sent me this charger back in, I think, November 2023, and I've been using it since. So this is my review. This is all the good things about it. And this is going to be all the negative things about it as well based on my experience. They only requested me to do the video in English so everybody can understand it. So with that said, let's move on. Now, first impressions were a bit mixed, to be honest. Uh, when I took it out of the box, actually when the box arrived, I was a bit amazed at how big the box is. Let me just show you how big the box is for this thing. Now, I understand there's a, there's a cable inside, but just by comparing the box to something like an easy charger you can see the difference and also if I take it out of the box you can see that this is a much more elegant solution you can tell that the the money they spent on uh, research and development mainly went into let's say the software and the, the hardware of things rather than the design of things so you can see here it's not super big of a difference but i just like generally speaking i like matte finishes uh this glossy piano black is is never good i just took off the peel of it and there's already fingerprints on it and i'm sure it's going to get scratches and everything on it but just you can see this is the difference and if i take for example i mean obviously this has no cable attached to it, so the, the box is smaller because there's no cable inside. But if we take if we take like a wall box Pulsar Plus, um, I don't have the box for this, but you can. But the box is a lot smaller than the Trident box or the the V2C box, and the actual charger itself is you can see here is a, is a lot smaller. So the aesthetic is, is a mixed bag, to be honest, but I mean, it's not ugly and it has a function. First of all, it has a screen. It shows you um, your stats, current stats. So I've been charging for 25 minutes, almost 25 minutes. And the uh, solar output is five kilowatts and the car is pulling almost five kilowatts but we'll talk about solar output in a moment so if you like the glossy finish or don't mind it then no worries if if you don't like it then maybe you can just put a, a sticker on it or like a foil or something you can customize it and there you go you have the screen which is really useful so you don't have that on the easy charger or the or the pulsar charger and the reason why this is so big is because you can put in your breakers and your circuit uh, protections and everything so this would be really useful for people who live in apartment blocks where sh the chargers are in let's say semi-public spaces and you don't really have other spaces to put your breakers your circuit breakers your protections and everything well this charger has room inside it so you can put those inside it so if you're in this situation then this charger is actually really good for you on the other hand if you do have like a garage or your your own private parking space then then uh, you can have your circuit breakers um, somewhere else and then this or anything else occupies a lot less space but it is what it is it's a it's an interesting uh, approach it has its benefits but the downside is that it's a it's a bit bigger than the, the, the competition. They do include here a cable holder, which to be honest, some of the competition charge 20, 40 euros just for a cable holder. Well, V2C includes this here on the side, so you can just put your cable there and maybe wrap it around like I did in the beginning and you're set to go. 
On the front, we have the V2C logo, which actually, you can probably not see it, but illuminates at night and now as well, but you cannot see it. And actually it shows you the status of the, the charge. So if it's blue and blinking, then uh, it's charging. If it's green, then it's waiting. If it's like light blue, um, I think it's, it's a scheduled sh charge. So you can just schedule. So the charge starts at whatever time you want or whatever condition you want. But we'll talk about those in a second. And if it's red, there's an error. And um, I think pink is updating the fire firmware or something like that. There's a screen, like I said, uh, it's showing what the car is pulling, how much the, the house is pulling and how long you've been charging and what the uh, solar panel output is. There are also some buttons on the side for quick uh, settings if you need to do that, but you have the actual app for the phone where you can access all the, uh, all the settings of the charger and you can schedule everything and set up everything as you like. So these buttons are more for um, situations where you don't have the phone with you or something like that. So like I said, I know there are other chargers that have maybe nicer apps or they look nicer or have other chargers obviously have solar uh, panel integrations, inverter inver integrations as well. The key thing is here that this has everything. It has the RFID, it has the payment system, it has it has uh, the wirelessly communicating with the inverters and everything. Everything's included for a competitive price. That's the whole that's the whole package that I'm referring to, and this is why I think this is one of the best chargers out there, even if it's not the uh, nicest looking or the smallest or whatever. You're paying for the whole package and you're getting a good deal. So I've made some notes here. If you buy the easy charger, which is this one. You might have heard about this one. Um, you can make this actually work with solar panels, but you have to spend another about 150 euros for the dongle that makes that happen. So then you're around 1000 euro. And if you want to buy the uh, Pulsar Plus, you're also spending another about 200 euros. So then you're around 900 euros with this one. So like I said, the whole package for the competitive price. Now let's talk about the downsides because I've mentioned everything it can do and, and all the features and everything, but let's talk about the downsides. To be honest, I think for some people, the actual size of it and the glossy finish and everything might actually be a downsize because uh, not everyone needs the circuit breakers inside and some people actually might prefer a smaller solution, something like this or the Pulsar or there are many other chargers on the market. So that's, I think, one of the downsides it, it's having. And then the other one is the app. The app is, it can do everything and it's, it's working fine, but it would need some polish in my opinion. Some of the translations from Spanish are not the greatest and some of the user interface elements are not the easiest to understand. And there are some very, very, very slight bugs. The app overall works. It's always communicating. It's it's fast. It's 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 okay, but th there are some some small small issues. Let's say um, the app for the easy charger is a lot more uh, refined. Let's say, but the good thing is it's an app. So maybe they're working on a newer version. Maybe they will s update it in a few months. So it's not like you're buying the charger and and that's it the app can be updated. So these are the downsides, I would say, of the charger, the, the actual physical look, which can be a positive for some and can be a negative for others. And um, the app, which I said, which like I said, um, uh, it's not the most polished one. It's definitely functional, it works good, but um, yeah, it's the, ease, the easy charger has a better, better app and some other competitors have uh, maybe nicer apps. So then let's uh, summarize what we discussed. Uh, I'll put some pros and cons. Uh, the main thing for me and probably for you guys as well is solar integration. It does that perfectly. It works perfectly. I think it's it's one of the nicest integrations out there, especially because it does, it does this wirelessly and um, it does this uh, wirelessly with a lot of inverters. If it's not working, with your inverter uh, wirelessly, then they do include all the modules and the clamp meters and everything to make it work on a cable. So it will work whatever uh, inverter you have. So this is the main selling point, I think. Load balancing with the house, 
it's an, it, it's a must feature nowadays and i think it's 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 really nice that it's included and and you'll be using that a lot an app which is really powerful you can set it up as as and customize it uh exactly like you want it and and you and something that fits your needs uh, there's api integration with google home alexa uh, home assistant and all that it's a really competitive price i've touched on that and it's made in the eu i think that's uh, that's one of the pros now for cons i would say design and definitely the app issues or or small bugs bugs and, and translations i would say go to the cons so consider all these when when looking at this charger i've told you the pros i've told you the cons consider them So the EV charger market is pretty full nowadays. You can buy chargers from lots of brands. Some come in different colors, some come in different shapes, some come in different sizes or colors. Some have better apps. Other chargers do solar integration as well. But this does it in a way that nobody really does it. It's at a good price, it's a good product, and people should know about this product because overall I think people would like it. I'm sure V2C is not going anywhere. They've been making chargers for quite a while now. And um, I think for me, this charger is going to stay here right in front of my garage. We've been uh, using it for six months and I'm not planning to change it because it's a good product in my opinion. So if you found this uh, video uh, interesting, then uh, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. So you can uh, press like or whatever if you if you feel that way i might do another uh, video showing you guys inside and uh, maybe some installation if you're interested i can also show you a unboxing if you're interested in that but this is it for today i hope you uh, found this video interesting and um, yeah thanks for watching bye